The Memory Technology Library has been very useful for people to borrow the items that they want to try out um, and also to hopefully give them a little bit of independence and um, they can try it out for a couple of weeks or a couple of months and if it's suitable they can keep it for longer. If it's not working for them they can give it back and they don't have to part with any money so it's been really really good. The Memory Technology Library seems to be a very positive step forward and the products seem to have been warmly received. People do make comments and um, that's positive as well because they've suggested how things maybe could be tweaked slightly to make them even more useful for people to use. Well, I find it very, very handy because people turn around and say, oh, it's Tuesday today and I look and say, it's not, it's Wednesday. Or it's easy so that when you do forget, I think everybody forgets some time or other, just look up and see what day it is. It's marvellous. Oh, the day clock is very good and it is very useful. Very useful, especially for Don. Because Don gets trouble um, with the clock. Whichever clock, he can't read the time properly. He has got a habit of saying, what day is it? What time is it? Um, and I can say, look, it's... And you you take it in then, don't you? Yeah. Mm. It, I came back and there was this clock, and I think it's a wonderful idea, but it didn't work for us. Um, and I think that that's... Um, Richard uh, has always been very badly dyslexic, so he's not used to um, looking at... The written word and it's the same as the labels I put on the cupboards and everything that are supposed to be really helpful he just does not pick up on visual clues so um, you know I don't think I don't think it's any reflection on the on the gadget I think the gadget was wonderful is there anything that you would change about the clock no nothing because it's got everything there that I want to say what day it is that's the main thing I don't know how much they cost, but if we were buying all these things, um, pension would be gone, wouldn't it? But I couldn't have bought one at all because of the money position. But um, once I had it there and it was there, it absolutely wonderful. I wouldn't be without it. I think the Memory Technology Library is a good concept because there's a lot of things out on the market that you could buy and waste your money on and that the thought that you could borrow something, see if it works, yes it does and then purchase it, uh, I think as a concept is very good. I think the challenge is how do you get people to know about it um, in, a, in a wider context. Uh, but I think that principle is fantastic. Well, to me, I find more relaxing because sitting, if suppose you're sitting on watching the telly, you're more relaxing and you're good for your hands, fingers. If your fingers numb, inside is warm. If your hand want to go to sleep, it wake it up because by using the ball and inside is warm, it wake up your hands, wake up your fingers. I like you feel all the heat going up into your shoulders. Mrs. Greaves, they're just holding it there nice and warm. <laughs> yeah, it's really yes. warm. But for, on for a me, cold day. and I think I could sit down and play with this <laughs> at the moment. Because I'm up, I'm so much to do. Home and away, and you know, so it's, this here is it's like a, it's a mostly a woman thing. <laughs> Don't put that on there. <laughs> <laughs> a woman. A woman thing. <laughs> Firstly, it's an amazing opportunity to be able to sort of um, do this as a research project because it's fascinating for us to find out any experiences that carers have as a carer centre about what makes their life more interesting and slightly easier. So a lot of our carers officers are going out and doing carers assessments and they're trying to identify specific problems that that person's having and it's great that you can have 
just a little tool, a little something, gadget perhaps, that offers the simple solution to that specific problem. And then it just becomes amazing as wow, it works, it's fantastic. But being able to do that in research and, and getting it done formally um, just means that we'll have better evidence to deliver that service long term. And that's what we need really, is a long term service. Oil, um, is to help Dawn to get up the stairs on the stair lift and turn at the top. At the top of the stairs, take the brake off and turn the chair to the right, then stand up. When you come down, take the brake off and turn the chair to the left to come down. He could not work the stair lift at all. And um, I was having to go up the stairs with him to tell him what to do. Is it useful? Well, yeah, because it, it tells me what to do, so I do forget. And it, so I was a reminder of nothing else that what well, I've got to do. And I get no problems then. That, that prevents problems, prevents me worrying as well. That facility, that resource there, is absolutely invaluable in order to be able to take things out, try them with people, um, customise them, which we can do with most of the pieces of equipment, um, and really see what works with an individual. And also it means that as needs change, we can then change things over, give them different pieces of equipment that might suit them better. I said, just, oh, just pull this button on to see what's going on. And I just pull the buttons. I said, oh, hmm, get it back. Good for my fingers. Oh, that's nice, my fingers. You pull the shoelace and I tie the shoelace back. That's good for your shoelace. And that's how you learn to do your shoelace properly. Perfect. <laughs> this one, I find it, the idea there is good. But I thought if it was more of a bigger, a wider, more of a blanket to, you can put over your legs or in a wheelchair, you know, I thought it would have been better because you've still got these to keep you occupied. You know, you can put your purse and whatever. You know, it should be more, more of an open pocket here. So if you was in a wheelchair and you was going out for the day and you're sitting there, Yes, it is nice to be fiddling with stuff, but to me, I find this too short. That's what I think. I was asked to be part of the Memory Technology Library pilot scheme. I was interested to see what there was available for people that would help them, and particularly with orientation. When you're not doing very much, a day seems very long and people lose track of whether it's morning or afternoon or evening, so the clocks have been very useful for that. Monday morning. Now it's Monday morning. You're 100 today. Yes, so they tell me. Best wishes to you on such a special occasion. Elizabeth. Oh. So that's the Queen, isn't it? Staff like to use the photo albums, um, we're working on those at the moment, putting pictures um, with an audio tape to them to help with reminiscence and it gives the staff something to talk to the residents about. So we've, we're finding those very useful. <laughs> You can quite like this um, talking photo fly because you can see the picture. Um, you can recall um, the voice, what's about the pictures. We have got a review from one person who's got the um, talking, she's got the album. Her conclusion to that, it needs to be louder.
she found that the volume on it was very, very low. So that's something that needs to be probably see if it could improve on. I've used them with um, one friend of mine and it was absolutely amazing. It was using the photographs um, and it had such a positive impact and a good, it started a good set of communication. For carers I think it's been very important, as important as it is for the person that's actually using the technology because it's giving them a little bit of freedom. Um, people are being asked constantly, can you do this for me or how do I do that, I can't remember. But um, some of this technology actually takes away that burden so they don't have to ask for help all the time, they can do it themselves. So it, it's, it's a two-way win-win situation. Every individual with dementia has got different needs and each carer can have, if they've, if they've got the idea of what might be possible, I'm sure you could customise some of these things to individuals, which I think would be fantastic. Hello, Margot. This is your dad. I've got a new machine just to keep me remembering what I'm doing every day. Hello, Margot. Oh, this is know. your dad. I've got a yeah. new machine just to remind me what I'm doing all day. There That's we right. are. There we came. <laughs> So you wanted to send it to somebody, somebody a, away mm. or a family member or something. You just put your picture on the friend mm. or whatever. Yeah, but with this one, you, your own personal one, but with this one with Mr. Matthews, and what he did was he chose some music, oh, and some reggae music to play it in. Yeah. And then we put a picture on the front. You record what you want to say, yeah. and then it will just... I would like to wish you a very happy birthday. That's if, that's if that's what you wanted to say. Mm -hmm. You can change it at any time. Mm -hmm. It's not bounded by it. This talking card about where you are, that, and that sounds perfect for my situation. That would be excellent. I'm sure it would, that would work. Well, I think there's a role for both low-tech and high-tech. I think the low-tech is much easier to individually customise. It takes a lot longer to produce it because you're working with the service user and their carers to, um, to develop it. Um, at, but then, of course, it also needs adjusting as time goes, goes on, as needs change. I think um, the Memory Technology Library has been really important for giving everyone an opportunity to learn together about um, new technology which is quite novel to use with people with memory problems and dementia. So I think we've all come from different backgrounds. Um, some of our partners are from nursing homes, um, some are from uh, community services and it's been great for everyone to come together and have the opportunity um, really to build um, some shared knowledge and learn from each other's experience. We've been very lucky to have lots of experts who've um, come along to our library technology meetings and have been able to tell us about the evidence and the theory behind um, using these products as well as giving people the opportunity to learn how to use products and this has been very important so that people can go out with confidence to show others and I think this is key to whether a product is successful to someone. The team meetings have been a great opportunity um, for people to come together and share their experience of using these simple technology products and we've had experts in who've been able to demonstrate how to use the products and also academics who've been able to um, link the research knowledge um, directly um, to the practice. I think this is a really important project and important that this continues. It feels like we're just taking our, dipping our toes in the ocean and we should you know take it on um, we should listen to the people that have started to use the products develop them further and you know reach out to a wider group of people there's many people out there who would benefit from these products and some of them we haven't found yet and it's important that we do